time I would like to call on our brother Harold to please come on up mighty God we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor amen God bless you brother God bless you what a blessing his life is a testimony I'm going to give him a moment to share with us the goodness of God and what God has done for him. Somebody say amen. amen. Brother Harold, it's nice having you. God, bl God bless you. Thank you all and good morning to everyone. This morning I'd like to share with you guys a personal testimony of myself. As for as a power greater than myself have been with me all of my life. Myself, personally, um, I had committed a life crime in the past, and I was a teenager, and I went into incarceration when I was 16 years old, 37 days after my 16th birthday, and I was incarcerated for over 40 years. So God have been with me throughout my incarceration while I survived the prison life for over 40 years. I came out and was given a second chance, healthy sound mind and have the ability to live back in the community with uh, uh, taking steps that I've never taken in life to live as an adult outside of incarceration and it has been a journey and it has been a good journey and what I also would like to share with you that it's not just me by myself because I couldn't do it all by myself I had to have help I had to have the assistance of God because some of the things that I'm going to share with you is much more powerful than just myself. Since I've been out, I've uh, worked two jobs. I've been blessed with that and uh, that's been stable. I've been out for three years now and <laughs> I've met some of my family that I never met before. I was blessed with that. I've um, I got my own place where I live that I've been living for over almost two years now. So never having the understanding and the ability to live as an adult, you know, some of these things that I have to figure out and I'm still figuring out, but I've been doing good, you know, and paying rent and uh, maintaining that, that's been good. Um, I just recently bought a car, um, right? <laughs> right? So I never had my driver's license before, so I had to learn to drive. I never knew how to drive, you know? So uh, I got my driver's license about a month and a half ago, and I was able to purchase a car, like, for $6,300. It was fully paid for, the um, <laughs> registration. So I had the ability to do that, you know, um, the registration, the insurance, and all these things that was never uh, uh, done before for me, and I'm able to do that the first time, you know. So God has been good to me in many ways, and, uh, you know, he still uh, are still being um, supportive and helpful, giving me guidance and direction and keeping me pushing forward strong. And one of the biggest lessons that I've learned in this process is that no matter what challenges we have, we have to stay positive, we have to stay hopeful. We have to keep pushing forward in a strong way and we'll prevail in the end because God designed us for us to be able to progress in life that way. And he's doing that for me. Okay. So I want to thank you guys for taking a moment to listen to my personal testimony. You know, I wish you guys happy holidays. I wish you joyous and blessed a life ahead of yourself and keep pushing forward and stand strong. You know, when we all will prevail. Thank you. Somebody shout hallelujah. What a testimony. What a testimony. What a testimony. That is a story of restoration. God restored his life, gave him a second chance. What a blessing. Somebody say amen. amen. 
And now, here is another good part to his testimony. He's, he's off parole. He's, he's, he doesn't have to worry about that now. He's a free man. Somebody shout hallelujah. They, they don't have to like monitor him anymore. He's a free man. That is what God can do when you learn to put your trust in him. I remember when he first came and he continued. He was so focused. He continued to say, I'm going to get my life in order. And through the help of the Lord, look at where he's at today. We give God a praise. Let's go ahead and give God praise for him. Mighty God, we thank you. Mighty God, we honor you. As we get ready to just worship the Lord in dance and just honor his greatness, I want you to also have faith in God. Some of you, you might have a loved one that is in prison or incarcerated, or you might have a loved one that needs a second, fourth, fifth, tenth chances, opportunities. I want you to believe God, that the same God who did it for our brother, that that same God can do it for your family member, that same God can do it for your loved ones. Somebody say amen.